Twin-to-twin transfusion syndrome can complicate 15 to 20% of monochorionic twin pregnancies. In those pregnancies, the twins share one placenta. Unbalanced exchanges between the two fetuses can occur. This can be the consequence of vascular communications connecting the circulation of the two fetuses. They are visible on the surface of the placenta and are called anastomosis. One of the fetus, the recipient, will receive a considerable blood flow and will urinate a lot, causing an excess of amniotic fluid in his sac, whereas the other fetus, the donor, will go into restriction and will stop urinating. He will be ending up with very little liquid in his amniotic sac. This phenomenon, once initiated, does not regress and leads to either a late miscarriage, a very premature delivery, or a fetal death of one or both twins. The laser phytoscopy can interrupt this anastomosis and thus stop the evolution of the twin-to-twin -twin transfusion syndrome, allowing the pregnancy to continue. The fetus cup is a camera that is introduced into the amniotic sac of the recipient fetus through the abdominal and uterine wall by a 3mm surgical incision under ultrasound control and after local or local regional anesthesia. This procedure involves risks. In 90% of cases, at least one fetus will survive, whereas both of them will survive in 65% of cases. Once inside the amniotic sac, it is possible to visualize the insertion of the amniotic cord of the recipient and donor twin and their interamniotic membrane. This permits us to locate the equator of the anastomosis where the two placental circulations meet as roots of two neighboring trees. Under direct eye control, the laser will close the anastomosis and create a new border on the placenta. This will allow the two twins to have two independent nutrition systems. At the end of the procedure, the recipient twin's excess amniotic fluid is removed and the donor twin will start to urinate again, therefore filling up his sac in the days following the procedure. In utero access by phytoscopy also allows us to intervene in other illnesses such as diaphragmatic hernia with the installation of a small balloon in the fetus trachea and obstructive urinary abnormalities. This technique is also under development for more complex surgeries such as spine column closure for spina bifida disease consisting in an abnormal spine column closure. <laughs>